Hola. Hola amigos. That's my new thing. I don't say hola anymore. I say hola amigos because I just feel like it sounds more natural and it's more fun. Anyway, I just want to apologize for being completely absent for like, how long has it been? I'm so sorry. Two weeks? Ah, uh, maybe longer. I don't know. I'm so sorry. I just, I, I the, uh, here are the excuses. I'll give you the excuses. Um, I was visiting my family and I wanted to focus on being with them. So I didn't post. And then this last week I have been starting training for a new job. That's what I've been doing. And truthfully, I had the time to make videos, but every time I started the camera and started talking, I just was like, this is not right. This is not coming out the way I needed to. So I want to apologize. Um, but yes, I started training on my new position at school as an early literary this is so hard for me to say early literary interventionist okay that's the best I've, it's ever come out um but i'm gonna be helping kids read essentially and while i'm learning about this train the training is very in-depth the training is very like it's an online thing there's modules i go through it anyway um i go through it at 2x speed but anyway um i'm i'm essentially learning myself what it was that taught me to read and it a lot of it is memorization a lot of it is memorization making connections and once you've made those connections, it makes memorization easier. Learning how I was essentially taught how to read, because I don't really know how I specifically was taught how to read. This is just the method that is currently being used. Just seeing how that essentially works is so interesting to me, especially as a writer and someone who reads a lot. This is like you're essentially learning a new language. Kids already know how the words sound and what they mean, but seeing, visually seeing them visually i don't know ugh, the connection is so interesting it's auditory it's visual and there's like meaning to it so uh, this is so weird i did not expect to be talking about this but um i think about it all the time because a lot of times when i speak or when i say someone's name or when i say certain nouns or certain things the spelling of or the actual word will like float in my head and i can see it and i'm like hmm i wonder why and I feel like it's a little bit of a reminder of how to say the word or how to pronounce it because the word comes with its own sounds and the word comes with its own meaning. So when I'm trying to say something and I'm thinking about how it may, I'm thinking about how it looks in my head, the word specifically. Um, and yeah, I think that's very helpful to me. I'm trying to figure out why faces are so difficult for me. Like... I don't know maybe because so many names are just mundane and just like i don't know what is it what is it like um i'll see like people from and it makes me feel so awful i'll see people from like middle school high school that i went to school with that i may even have been friends with don't remember their names i just kind of remember their essence like how they made me feel and that's why oh i've been talking about this too i've been talking about how the feeling of something is so much more important than like naming it or labeling it um how a person feels in your life versus how they how you kind of like position them in the hierarchy with whether that's friendship whether that's parental family relationship whatever the heck or boss whatever it, they feel kind of like an emotional space or feeling like that person initi initiates positive feelings, good feelings, or that person initiates pain or, oh, I got a, uh, oh, <laughs> um, it was an email, um, uh, about, okay, anyway, <laughs> um, I, I feel like there are peop uh, people in our lives fill up different feelings and the feeling that I want to initiate when I when that person thinks back on me they don't have to remember my name they don't have to remember my face they can just remember that well they they just have to remember that this person when they see the photo when they see the name whatever the heck initiates a certain feeling and I want the feeling to be warmth I want the feeling to be good and so I think that's what I strive for with people more than just like oh she was nice or she was this they made you feel a certain way and people just do that people just make you feel a certain way and i just feel like some people bring light and some people bring other things and they sometimes the feelings are unnamed sometimes the feelings are just something so unique to the person like whoa this is just like i can try to describe it as sparkly glittery or i can try to describe it as soft and fuzzy or whatever but i feel like people definitely bring their own feelings into things and into your life and hopefully you have a lot of people who bring positive feelings 
and I'm trying to gripe with like the feeling that someone brings when it's like in between when it's not positive nor negative and I've been so fortunate in my life to always be surrounded by such cool people I wanted to introduce the drink this is the drink today this is a coffee latte coffee oh and oh sorry um but um what was I talking about Oh yeah, the people who kind of live in between, people who are like, these are neither good nor bad feelings, but they do initiate something. Or I feel nothing towards a person and I'm just like, I don't really need this person to be taking up mental space in my life when they can't even initiate any real feelings. And I think that's dangerous as well because I feel that towards some family members. And I'm like, oh geez. I feel like if they were to like, this is awful. I feel like if they were to like somehow no longer be here i don't know if that would initiate any sort of feeling another thing that i'm realizing just now is that it doesn't have to like even if these people don't necessarily serve my life or initiate any feelings good or bad or i've moved on from whatever they had to offer i don't know what even so i think that making the decision to be nice and respectful and kind is the best especially with people you feel nothing towards um because what um but also like oh this person is my grandmother or, oh this person has a label even though the label doesn't really mean much to me doesn't really affect me much i don't have really any feelings towards this person that is still the reality of the situation and i want to be respectful towards that you know so to just dismiss them because i don't really feel anything towards them is kind of harsh i think maybe um especially if uh if boundaries are set and boundaries are respected then i see, i see no reason to be harsh you know oh i'm just doing a lot of therapy this is fun um, um hopefully i can still do these videos every day i'm gonna be spending the weekend with my family and then i'll be back here in my apartment i'm so excited um yeah, that's so interesting. Huh. I feel like I discover more about the human race every day. This is crazy. Um, okay, anyway, back to my coffee. Really good. Really good. Ooh. Ooh. Tastes kind of... Ooh, I think this would have been better with honey. I added condensed milk. Because <laughs> I think coffee needs condensed milk and tea needs honey. But like... This might have been good with honey, low key. I feel like the condensed milk is already adding to the milk and it's becoming too milky. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I spent the whole morning packing and um, it took me forever to put an outfit together that I already know looks good because I've worn it before. And I finally put it on and I was like, why am I fighting this? Just put on the outfit that looks that you know looks good. and that's what this is sometimes i get bored of the looks good outfit and i try something new and then i get disappointed because halfway through a couple hours into wearing the outfit i'm like ow this is actually bad <laughs> this is actually not good so i get i feel bad about that and um but at least i tried you know at least i experimented and i love discovering new things that work for me i love discovering like for example i have this eyeliner on and you can't even see it because it's like a sparkly light brown. And it's so nice because I feel like it gives a little bit of glow. It gives a little sparkle. You can't even see it though. And I don't know what it is about me specifically with mascara. Anything with my eyes really. Mascara, eyeliner. I just get so particular about those things. And I have, I have eyeliner. I have mascara. I'm just, if I can get away with not wearing it, I won't. Because I don't. Because, um... It's just, it's so, I feel like my eyes, of course, obviously, they are my win the windows to everything. And if they're like feeling heavy or feeling kind of like this, like feeling like that, like sticky and like too much, I feel like I'm compromised and I can't actively go about the world. And my eyes I've discovered in the last year or so are super sensitive. They're sensitive to light. They're sensitive to like things um my sister can't have things like be this close to her face i don't mind that but things like actually on my eyelids maybe i'm just not used to it i feel like if i had maybe i i've had eyelash extensions before so and i was okay after like a day so i've completely 
forgot they were there but it's the it's the spring feeling like if the rest of me has to wear makeup and i don't like wearing foundation because i feel it and it's just like this i think it's just something to get used to if the rest of me has to wear makeup then my eyes can be kind of like clear and i feel like it always keeps me looking natural when i can find something that doesn't really affect my ability to see doesn't really affect my ability to go about the world yeah i feel lucky when i have something like that yeah, so I think it's the light, like, creamy eyeliners that don't really affect me that much. But mascara, oh, mascara, I just, like, rub my eye and I'm, like, my eyes, like, on fire for an hour. I just, I'm like, dang, like, what do I do? I want to take this eye eyelash off. First world problem for sure. Yeah. Um, I think there was, um... A store I wanted to go to before I drove down to my parents house. I still have to do my training today so I don't even know how long the training is gonna be because I didn't do yesterday's training because it looked really short and I'm like I'll just do it tomorrow. Um, I think I really want to go to Nordstrom. <laughs> there was these shoes there they were white and they were like, like this is again about talking about things I've discovered that I like they're like white Mary I think they're called Mary Jane's white flat shoe that like has a black band only one black band like a, a, a yeah and then it's like squared off so it's like kind of round but square at the same time and i love shoes like that i i will take a squared off shoe like that like kind of like this yeah it looks like this like it's the shoe and then the top kind of just is like a ballerina yeah like a ballerina flat almost it's just squared off like that i prefer the squared off and then i'll do a round and I'll try at my very hardest to avoid any sort of pinky. So. I, or pinky. What is it? Triangle? It's pointy. Pointy. I'll avoid pointy shoes because I don't know. Maybe I look good with pointy shoes and I just haven't given them the proper chance. And maybe those are like my shoes. But I feel like pointy shoes are for like dainty girls who have like thin legs. And that's like... What? That has been my issue. I have thicker legs, which like don't match the rest of me. Don't match the top of me, that's for sure. I feel like from the waist down, I gain weight much easier. And like the top half of me is much smaller. Like I just have a smaller frame. I have smaller shoulders and I'm just like more petite on top. I have small wrists. Uh, I don't even know. Do I have small hands? I feel like they're, I feel like they're normal. Maybe they're small. I don't know. But um, the the bottom half of me is like the opposite. What the heck? But I do have hips. So it's nice. But um, yeah, I'm definitely curvier on the bottom half of me, which is just, I don't like unproportioned things. I, I'm like, if, if the bottom of me is going to be thick, then I want the top of me to be thick as well. And if the top of me is going to be thin, then I want the bottom of me to be thin as well. So I would love to wear a mini skirt, but I just feel so big when I wear them. And that's there's nothing wrong with that. But I don't think they're necessarily flattering on me. Because that's never... Because like I said, the top half of me doesn't really match the bottom. If they matched, I would feel more comfortable wearing everything. But they don't match. And I think I'm called a pear shape. I think. Um, just like top half of me is small, bottom half is big. And, or more round. And yeah, I just don't like it. I wish it was all even. Yes. I wish it was all even, but it's not. Uh, but you know what makes me happy is when I see myself represented. <laughs> I basically have the same body type as Moana. So if you've ever seen Moana and what she looks like, I'm excited for the second movie. If you ever see Moana and what she looks like, we have the same body type. Exact same. Like, the same. Like, we have the same body type. I'm pretty sure we're the same height if I look it up. How tall is Moana? How tall is Moana? Moana. Girl, she's not 7'6. Please be serious. What? People are saying she's 7'6. Haha, she's 5'4. That's the same height as me. Haha. <laughs> She's 5'4". We're the same height. No wonder. But yeah, we're the same body type. And she's the one that kind of convinced me, on top of my mom, to wear like longer skirts. 
because it just looked good on her and i was like okay if it looks good on my wife but look at me it's gonna look good on me because we're the same body type but yeah and i agree i do think that long skirts do look good on me <laughs> which is unfortunate because there are certain types of clothing that i really like that just don't look good on me and I have to learn that the hard way by like going through a bunch of like phases where I keep buying the stuff and thinking that, you know. But yeah, I love discovering new things. Um, I think that's going to be all for today's video. I think so. <laughs> it's so loud. Um, okay, I promise I'll be posting every day again. I promise. Try my hardest. Oh, hopefully it's good content too. Bye. Thank you for following.